hand. This machine just keeps getting smarter and smarter. Check it out. In this video, we're gonna go over two awesome features of the new Cube Plus. Hey everyone, I'm Christian and I'm here with the Weinig Cube Plus, this machine right in back of me. In this video, we're gonna go over two really exciting brand new features of this machine, the mobile spindle and the auto stacker. Now, if you haven't seen any previous videos on the Cube Plus, check them out. I'm gonna put links to those videos in the description of this video, but let's get started. All right, so the first feature I wanna talk about is the mobile spindle feature. Now, I know what you're probably saying, all the spindles are mobile, right? They all move based on the values that the operator puts in the controller, and that's correct. But this feature now moves one of the spindles, the left spindle, depending on the width of the piece automatically. Now, it does this because the mobile spindle feature outfits the machine with this photo eye right here on the side. Now this photo eye actually measures your workpiece while it's on the infeed table and sets the spindle to the appropriate position. Now inside the machine, nothing has changed all that much. The spindle is still in the same position here and it can still be moved in and out depending on the value that the operator places in the controller but now it has the option to move in and out based on the value that the machine measures when it measures the workpiece. Now here we are at the controller where you can turn the mobile spindle feature on and off by simply toggling this button on the lower right. When you turn the mobile spindle feature on, you can also define a value by pressing this button here and this value is the amount of material you want the spindle to take off from your workpiece after it's measured its width. When working with the mobile spindle, it's important to note that the photo eye located here on the side of the machine measures the width of your workpiece at the front of your workpiece when you slide it up to the gate. Okay, that means that if your workpiece has a large bow or isn't tapered in a large way, it's only going to measure the width of your workpiece at the front. Okay, so now that you know how the mobile spindle works, let's fire the machine up and we'll run a few pieces so you can see the machine measure the piece and adjust the spindle into position. As you can see, the adjustment was made. The piece, uh, the piece has been measured by this photo eye. The laser guides moved and the gates opened ready to accept the piece. I got my next piece. I'm gonna put it up to the gate. I'm gonna let the machine measure it. It's measuring it, it's adjusting the spindle position. It's set, the gate opens. And I run my piece. Now the next feature I wanna talk about is this outfeed auto stacker. And this is on the outfeed of the machine and it stacks your work pieces as they come out of the machine. Now this module here is not bolted to the machine but it's cabled so it can talk to the machine. It can talk back and forth and position this tray so it can accept the next workpiece coming out of the machine. Now this tray can also be positioned manually with these buttons here and has an e-stop that cuts the auto stacker and the machine. So now we're at the controller and as I mentioned before, the auto stacker and the machine are cabled together so they can talk. Now, that's because when you're feeding the machine from the infeed, you don't have a great view of the outfeed. So the controller tells you right here with this number that's displayed right in the middle of the workpiece diagram, how many pieces of the current thickness you're running 
can be put on the auto stacker before you have to unload the auto stacker. Now, a couple things to note about the auto stacker before we run some pieces through. First off is because the module is not bolted to the machine, it can easily be moved out of the way. You can turn it off in the controller and therefore operate the Cube Plus without the auto stacker and then bring it back into operation at any time. The other thing is that the tray here comes with two indents and this makes it easy for operators to pick up their load of work pieces from the tray. Okay, so now that you know how the auto stacker works, we're gonna run some products through the machine so you can see the auto stacker move that tray down to accept the pieces at the correct thickness from the machine. All right, so let's go. So as you can see, the new Cube Plus got even better with the mobile spindle and the auto stacker on the outfeed. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified when we produce new content.